Greetings everyone, my name is Shmuel Gonzalez. I'm a community organizer and activist from here, the neighborhood of Boyle Heights, East Los Angeles. I'm also the founder of the Boyle Heights History Studios here. And um, you're probably wondering um, why we call ourselves the Boyle Heights History Studios when many of you um, know us as a museum, uh, you know us as a cultural space, you know, maybe you've come here for um, you know, Dia de los Muertos, maybe you came here for a Hanukkah event, uh, maybe you came here for um, a comedy show or to hear a band play. Um, but what most people don't realize is that the space that you guys enjoy so much this is just our front room. Um, we do actually have over 3,000 square feet of additional space. And um, branching off from our main hallway, we actually do have many studios, um, some that are dedicated to music. Um, we have um, Lollipop Records, um, which is located here. They actually have their oldie studios here. Um, we have some that are dedicated to podcasting, some to video casting, um, such as this room right here. Um, you know, this is the green screen room. And um, we actually do have a, uh, a green screen um, along here, a green screen wall along with um, lights and um, all the items that you would need in order to um, do video or audio um, podcasting from this space. And um, that's really what we're going to be focusing on um, during the COVID-19, during the coronavirus crisis, is that we're actually um, going to be transforming as much of our spaces, the additional seven um, rooms that we have that branch off from here, they are being activated um, as full studios. And to the extent that we can, we're converting much of this space into video studios that are going to be offering um, programming for everyone while we are stuck together in quarantine. And um, so even here, um, our museum space, um, we are converting it into um, a studio space um, in order for us to start offering um, educational programming um, from here that is going to be going um, to all the people stuck at home. And for all of the students, um, we are going to be providing um, educational programming starting this week streaming from this space. So let me tell you just a little bit more about our mission and what we are going to be doing um, during this time of crisis in order to arise to the occasion. So here at the Boyle Heights History Studios, we do intend to arise to the occasion of this crisis for our community, the people of our city, of our nation, of the world. Um, during the coronavirus crisis, um, we intend to um, stand up and try to help um, to the extent that we can. And um, who's this we that I'm talking about? Um, because um, I think that needs to be explained about the Boyle Heights History Studios is that um, it's not just the work of me alone or um, the, the few people that you see around here, um, but we are um, a group of people that um, maintain a very unique um, cultural space with a very unique model. Um, we are a community co-op of community partners that are all dedicated to storytelling through some type of method in this community, through music, um, through, uh, um, you know, through storytelling, through comedy, um, through all kinds of different things we dedicate ourselves to not just um, preserving the cultural heritage of our neighborhood, but also offering resources for people of the community. And so we feel that we have an obligation to arise to this challenge within our community. But what does need to be stressed about this very unique space is that we have a very unique model in which we're funded. Um, we are an entirely grassroots community center. That means that um, we take no funding from um, any grants, through the government, we have no big um, philanthropy backing. Um, so how do we keep afloat? Well, we are entirely funded through the storytelling of our community. Um, we offer lectures, we offer tours, um, and through that, um, people are able to donate to our community center. We share the stories of our community and about um, the great challenging arches of our community, the great challenges that have um, challenged our community for a long time. We talk about these things and you guys contribute through those ticket sales of those tours and those lectures and we are able to build resources that meet 
those challenges. And at this time, we are not able to offer any form of tours. Um, Zoot Suit Riot bus tour, Jewish Boyle Heights memories of Brooklyn Avenue, um, our um, Boyle Heights most haunted history tours, all of those um, type of really nostalgic tours that we offer, um, those are what keep the lights on. And um, we're just not able to do that at this time. However, what we are able to do with all of this space and with all of the equipment that we have here, we are able to convert um, this museum and cultural space into um, a network for our community in order to offer um, streaming um, news, in order to offer um, also classes, educational information. That's why I've actually set up this space here um, in the front museum space is from this space we plan to be offering educational programming starting this week. Um, for all of the students and parents who are at home, um, we are going to be supplementing for on the educational system by offering lessons about local history, um, about California and the city of Los Angeles. Um, we are going to be offering all kinds of different type of streaming programming, um, some of it news, some of it educational, um, some of it cultural arts. We are going to try to stay connected and keep the cohesiveness keep the continuity of our community um, going to the full extent that we can. Um, however, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing that with a little bit of some changes. Normally, we rent out the various um, studios for people to rent um, and for them to do their podcasts or their video casts or to record an album or whatever they're doing. But we are offering um, some of these recording studios. Um, we have converted them into individual recording booths, such as the green room there, for people to be able to record, for instance, their educational classes. If you need help taking your course um, online, we can help you here. While still keeping social distancing and sanitizing and everything, you can come in and individually utilize that space, our lights, our microphones, um, the tripods, everything that you need in order to be able to produce the class and we will help you get it online. If you are a community leader and you have a message that you need to get out, we will help you come here and we will help you record it and um, you can use all of our equipment and we will help you quickly get that message out to the public. Um, usually we rent out these spaces, how, however, at this time, if you are an educator, um, if you are a community leader who needs to get your message or your class online, we are opening up our space for you to utilize gratis. Um, we're just asking that um, you do keep us in mind eventually for donations if we have um, you know, been a resource to you and you have the resources to help us. Um, please contribute back to us, to our community co-op, so that we can continue to keep this going. Um, it's not exactly cheap um, to keep this community center going. However, usually the tours and the different programming that we offer um, on the weekend brings in in all of the, the funds that we need in order to operate by free all the rest of the week um, for the people of our community. However, with the tour shut down, we don't have that. Um, we are um, both myself within the tours and the other people, the other creatives here, be they musicians, comics, we're all gig workers and we're out of work right now. Um, so what we are asking is that you contribute um, to our community center um, so that we can help um, keep our creative space going. Um, you know, we are going to be setting up a GoFundMe page for you to be able to donate to our cultural center for us to be able to keep this going as a resource. If we are a blessing to you, please consider contributing at this time. We have never before had to ask for contributions. Um, however, at this time, um, you know, we um, are asking that everyone, to the extent that you can, do keep us in mind um, for contributions, for us to be able to keep our mission going, for us to keep on the flame of our culture, of our faith cultures, and all of the things that we host here alive through this season. Um, but um, 
nonetheless, whether we get donations or not, we're going to continue to utilize this space um, while we still have it, while we can still keep the lights on, in order uh, to be a resource for our community. So um, on behalf of the members of our co-op here, um, the Boyle Heights History Studios, um, thank you and um, be well. Cuídate. Zai Be in good health. Be well, everyone.